Two artists, one song, and four hours to write it. This is from Seed to Song. Today we meet Sue Sue, Betty Sue, and their song, Made of Music. She made me see a lot of those things that I didn't see before. And I couldn't see it coming. <laughs> Susu Sisoko and I'm from Sweden. I grew up in a music family. My father is a musician. I have two elder brothers who are also musicians and so I'm surrounded by music all my life and we had like a big room with a lot of different instruments and I was always playing around with it. You are made of music. I'm playing Kora and guitar, mostly together with Maya Sisoko. So we create our own songs and we sing in different languages and travel all around the world with our two kids. Something like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm trying to think of different kind yeah, of grooves just... or different kind of melodies. What if I just uh, played this chords and you just free reign riff on the like melodies that you... With these lyrics? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, you know, play with them if you want to move the lyrics around or whatever and mm -hmm. just see. It's been a very big struggle of how to protect my kids because they've been living in a small society with not so many people from different backgrounds and it was really hard for them to grow up there. Yeah, we had to move because of the racism in that village and we were planning even to move to Senegal to run away from Sweden. The hardest thing is like to, to tell somebody or like just be proud of yourself or you're beautiful. I mean those words mean nothing if you don't right. feel them and it's hard to make somebody feel it if they're not feeling it. My name is Betty Sue and I play folk rock music, um, play guitar and keyboard and accordion. I didn't know very much about Betty Sue before we started writing. I just liked her on stage, like when I saw her on YouTube, like the way she was talking to the audience and the way she was making jokes and explaining her songs and I also loved the way she sing and play. I didn't know anything about Sue Sue before we started. Everything was new to me, and it was a lovely surprise to meet her. You are made of music. Music made you. You are made. She was giving me hope like one day because it was something about racism that she was experiencing and then she said, oh, like, uh, I don't, like, I hate this racism and then she said, before I'm 10 years old it has to be gone, like, then it will be gone. <laughs> so it has oh. to stop before I'm 10, then it will stop. <laughs> so I was like, okay, she gave me a deadline. I can stop, I have to stop racism from the world. <laughs> well, that's, <laughs> that's such a beautiful hope a song that was kind of a letter to her children. And she said, gosh, that's so interesting because just a day or two before, one of her best friends told her, you need to write something that's like a letter to your children. And she was like, okay, this is a sign. What am I gonna say? How, how am I gonna answer this? Like, oh, you probably will have racism in your life for the rest Forever. of your life. Yeah. Uh, but, but her believing that it could possibly stop before she turned 10, that was like, both heartbreaking and at the same time like hope. It gave me some hope. But it's a big pain, like if you feel like you cannot protect your child, your, your kids. Yeah. Like you have no chance. To, there's no chance to protect them from, from this. So you just have to find a way for, to, to make them deal with it somehow. Exactly. I mean, I, you know, I grew up in like very white, area, mm -hmm. um, north of Houston, which is like very diverse, but outside of the city it wasn't as diverse. Mm -hmm. And I still remember things that people said when I was like 10 and 11, 
Yeah. You know, just other kids, just the hurtful mm -hmm. racial slurs. I mean, still like specific words and where I was in the school, like mm -hmm. I still remember it. Mm -hmm. And even though like as an adult, you know it's stupid, even in the moment if you know it's stupid, mm -hmm. you don't forget it. Yeah. And it still hurts even if you know they're the ones who are wrong. She asked me if we could write about how it's like to be a parent and she started to ask me some questions of what I'm afraid of and how I'm trying to protect my kids and educate them. I mean, only at this age, just imagine, she's just nine yeah. and she's been through more than me when I'm 35. Sometimes you can kind of lose track or lose sight of how other people view you until you're treated as an outsider. And she talked about some of the really unexpected and difficult and disappointing things that she had to watch her children face growing up in a small town in Sweden because they were of mixed race. Things that she didn't expect them to have to face. And that's something that I really relate to, you know, because I'm American born and I think of myself totally as American and at the same time I know that I'm different from the average white American. Trying to navigate that identity is always interesting and sometimes hard. Our kids, they get experiences. Mm -hmm. The kids that grow up in a little village, they will never get this kind of experiences, so... You know what? That is so interesting. Okay, so those kids and their parents or whoever, like they're so sheltered mm -hmm. from meeting anybody not like them yeah. that they act in this way. Yeah, exactly. But then once your kids were immersed in that, you wanted to shelter your children. Yeah. Yeah, and I had to shelter them from them that were sheltered and bring them to another. Right, right. Yeah. Like it's such a... Yeah, it's strange. It is strange. Yeah. This is the, the most sheltered ones that will be the most right. dangerous ones. Right, like but it's such a parental impulse, right? Yeah. As soon as we met, we knew we wanted to write something from a really meaningful place. And I felt like we were both able to keep things in a really sincere place. It was really nice to work with Betty Sue. I'm very impressed of the way she was like writing the lyrics and finding the structure of the song. Then it was really good to just see her decide what she will do with the notes and with the words and with the feelings, like how to put it together in a song. It was a lot easier for me to go through her notes and to distill a set of lyrics from them. I think coming in as an outsider, but also as somebody who understands how that feels to be treated kind of the way that her children were treated. Whereas to her, like everything had the same weight because it's all an emotional burden that she was carrying. I only wanted to shelter you from things I never had to endure But I could not protect you Gathering wounds I could not cure You are made of music Music made song made you want you to know the love song that made you want you to know the joy of being you they don't know that you are made of music that doesn't make it less true you are made of music music made you you are made of music a song But you're the one with a burden to bear It's easy to say you're beautiful It's easy to say do not despair But you're the one with 
Music that doesn't make it. Less. 